Question: What is the one time that traffic brings a smile to your face? When it's website traffic. I will end you. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is how many impressions and visitors my site gets in a month, and reaching here took a lot of hard work. So from my own journey, I'll pick out four good ways to use ChatGPT to boost your organic traffic. Even if you're a non-technical person, this tutorial will be easy to follow and give you some solid ideas for your SEO. My name is Rohan Julian Francis. Welcome to our channel and let's begin. The first time saver is to use ChatGPT, but as you can see, my dashboard looks very different to yours. This is because I've installed a free Chrome extension called AIPRM. So, you can go to the Chrome store, search for it, add it to your site, finish the sign up. and then it will be activated like this inside ChatGPT. So let's go to the search bar and type SEO. It shows me ready-made custom prompts that can create SEO optimized content for articles, FAQs, descriptions, and more. It can even help create a keyword strategy. So let's try that one out. I'll click it and here I'll type coffee. Now it's given me a whole table with keyword clusters, search intent, and a meta description. Pretty useful, right? Okay, now let's start using this extension to help us with our SEO. Most of you know that Google uses bots called crawlers to find and index all the information online and then arrange that into search results, which is where we want our site to rank higher. But these crawlers have limited resources and can't browse every single detail of your website. So Google assigns a crawl budget to each site that it visits. This crawl budget depends on the site's crawl health, that is its server speed and the crawl demand, which is based on the site's popularity changes on the page, links, and more such factors. Now, what we want to do is to make Google's crawlers spend their precious crawl budget on the important pages of our site and skip the pages that don't need to rank, like our website's legal pages. So to tell the crawler what to look at and what to ignore, we use robots.txt files. It's like a sign on the door of your house telling visitors not to visit certain rooms. Now, normally you'd need coding experience to create a robots.txt file, but here's where ChatGPT shines. With just a few instructions, it will give you your robots.txt code in a few seconds. So let's try it out. I'm going to open ChatGPT and type in my website URL is like this. It's quite a long prompt, so I'll add it in the description and you can just copy paste it from there. All right, now I'll submit it. And pretty quickly, it gives me the code I need that I can use for my website and improve the chance of my page being ranked. By the way, we do about four or five videos a week around WordPress. And if you're liking this video, I'm sure you like the other ones too. So just hit subscribe and let's build better websites together. All right, next, having a slow website makes your visitors bounce off, which hurts your SEO and drags down your rankings. So we need to make sure that your site loads fast and ChatGPT can't help us with that, but there are other free tools for it. But before all of that, let's first find out if your site is actually slow or not. Let's open a new tab and click airlift.net. Now, Airlift is a free speed plugin that makes sure our site doesn't slow down because people don't realize it, but even small sites with four or five plugins and a few products are generally too slow to load. So we built this plugin ourselves and are sharing this for free with our community. It's super simple. Let's just go to sign up, then add your website URL and download the plugin. Then in WordPress, just click on add new, drag and drop the plugin, install and activate it and your site will automatically get all the speed optimizations it needs, and you should see a 90 plus score like this. Airlift also makes sure that your site stays fast as you keep adding more things to it, so it's a good long-term tool to have. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's move on to our next tip. Google scrollers use URLs to understand what a page's content is about, and Google ranks URLs based on their length, so longer URLs rank lower than short ones. So having concise informative slug with keywords and no stop words can increase your website chances at ranking higher. ChatGPT can create concise SEO-friendly URL slugs for every page on your website in just one go, which can save you a lot of time. So here's how you do it. I'll open ChatGPT and enter this prompt. Again, you can find the prompt in the description. And then I'll press here. And in a split second, I'll have a bunch of slugs. Now, let me make it more SEO-friendly and concise. Now I'll make it add the keyword coffee. And here they are. All right, 
Our next tip is that ChatGPT can save us time in generating meta descriptions, which are catchy, informative, and concise, which helps us in increasing our CTR, which ultimately helps our SEO. So let's go to the search bar in ChatGPT and type the prompt high CTR meta description, then select this prompt. Now I'll enter my prompt like this, which I'll again add in the description and look for results. Now, this looks good, but it's best when we customize this prompt a little bit to make it more unique, like ordering noodles and adding your own sauce to it. Okay, now one of the best ways to boost your website's SEO is to get as many backlinks as possible from highly credible websites. Tools like SEMrush and Ahrefs have SEO tools to check your competitors' backlinks and target them. But it can take some money and time to get this data from them. And your ChatGPT is great for beginners because it can easily give you a list of websites to start your backlinking project. And after you feel confident that you want to invest more in backlinking, then you can pay for these SEO tools too. So I'm going to go and open ChatGPT and type backlink into the search bar. Then I'll select this custom prompt called find guest posting websites for backlinks. Now I'm just going to enter my niche, which is coffee. And it gives me a table with 10 websites and the email IDs to reach out to them, and even a tip on what to focus on while reaching out to them. Of course, we can also be a bit more specific in our prompt like this. And now we need to check out these pages and make sure that they're active ones, because sometimes ChatGPT gives you websites that are not active or that are not connected to the domain anymore. So let's do that. Now, some of them are active and some of them are inactive. So I'm gonna go back and ask for 10 more, and then I'm gonna check these as well. And after about a while, I will have a whole bunch of websites that I can start my project with. Now I can save even more time by using ChatGPT to write my email that I'll use to reach out to them. So let's go here and type emails. Then select the custom prompt, professional emails made easy. Now let's ask it to write a concise email requesting collaboration or backlinks like this. And this is what we'll get. Now this email is a bit too long, so I'll ask it to make it a bit shorter and more friendly. All right, now I'm gonna ask you for five more so I can mix and match the best sentences. All right, these look good. I now have both the websites that I want to reach out to as well as the email templates to send them and all of this happened in just a few minutes. Also, in this three minute video, I'll show you our new free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this later, so click here and I'll see you there.